Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to talk about what I look for when I try a new paper. Uh, Carol Boss from, uh, I'm going to probably say this wrong, Hanamula, I believe is how it's pronounced. I checked on Google. But anyway, it's a, a German made paper, but uh, it's uh, sold here in the US out of Illinois. And Carol is a marketing person for the company. So she sent me a block, um, which you see here. It's, um, I think this is 10 sheets for the block. And then she sent me this open um, watercolor pad, okay, which has 12 sheets. This is three or 140 pound, nine by 12 um, sample sheets, cold press. And I'm gonna show you what I do when I'm trying out new papers. So let's flip this open. It comes with this nice um, cover sheet. Okay, I've already put some paint on the page here and some masking fluid. So the first thing I'm going to uh, check here is how um, how I'm going to put some pencil and some paint down, and so we're going to see how the how the pencil erases. Okay, within if it erases under the watercolor paint or paint. Excuse me. Let's just get a darker color here. Okay. Oops. Oh, water. Here we go. So. Just gonna color in this we'll let that dry while we go through our other experiments here okay all right so um oh we also have to put some of our masking we can do that too okay so we'll just put some paint over the masking see how evenly that lifts and how good this the edges look um, this has a pretty um, hard, what I call a hardy tooth uh, to it. It's it's uh, quite bumpy for even for a cold press. So we'll see how that works out. I'm just going to dry my paint quickly here. Get my cord cut under my chair. Here we go. that's another test because I use a heat gun so I want to see if that does anything to my masking fluid on this particular paper so okay first experiment will be lifting so I'm gonna start with clear water and just a soft um, synthetic watercolor brush let's see how it lifts So just with a soft brush, it looks pretty nice. That's that's a good, um, this is Antwerp blue, which is, uh, it is a slightly staining color and it looks pretty nice. It doesn't get you back to white white, but it gets you back to a much, much lighter blue. So that is good. Now let's see how we do with a, an acrylic flat brush, and some clear water. Let's see if we can get it brighter. This has a little more scrubbing action than the soft watercolor brush. Okay. Oh, and it does get you back a little bit brighter, more white. So the lifting has that it's passed that test. Um, okay, the masking fluid. Let me get my. See, so always think you're all organized till you actually start recording. <laughs> there we go. There it is. Just getting my masking lift so I'm gonna lift up the edge let's see how this comes off okay let me zoom in a little bit okay let's get this over okay the edges look pretty good there's you know there's always bump because the paper's bumpy so you're gonna have little bumps and things but it's it's not a lot different than my Fabriano I usually use. So that, that's a good, that's a, I'd say a B plus on that one. This, the lifting I'd say is a solid A minus. That's really good. Okay, um, let me see what else we have to check here. Um, okay, just putting on our paint. Like how is the paper, does it uh, help it aid in the assist of the watercolor being very fluid? You know, in other words, does the paint move across the page easily or do you have to kind of push it along? So 
I'm gonna get some of my turquoise on here and I'm using a bigger brush that holds a lot of paint and water. So I'm just gonna run it across the page. Okay, towards the end here, it's start. this is really loaded. I mean, it shouldn't run out at the end, but it did once. It does a little bit here at the bottom again, but. So this paper, I think, kinda does suck up the paint pretty good. Um, that's not a bad thing, but it does mean that you may have to, like when you wanna do a nice gradient wash, it might be a little more difficult on this paper. I could be wrong, but. It's hard to get a smooth line. While this is wet, I want to check now about softening an edge. So let me zoom in a little. Okay, bring this up. So now I just have clear water on my brush. I'm going to pull some of the water off with my fingers and just soften an edge. Okay, that's really nice. That I like. So maybe maybe you could do a graduate. You just would have to use a bigger, even a larger brush that holds a ton if you're going to do like a whole especially a full sheet. This is only a nine by 12, but that it does give a nice soft edge. I like that, so, okay, I'll zoom back out. All right, and then we have to, um, let's see, sizing, um, the evenness of sizing. I'm gonna pause for a second here. We have work going on downstairs. We are back. So um, now I'm also, I, the reason I have these, there's that X that we put up here under, I better zoom in for this one. We put in under the paint. So let's see if you got any possibility of lifting pencil under this paint. Now most, pa most papers don't let you do this. So let's see. But if I can even soften them, I'm happy. It's lifting the paint a little bit, but it, it will soften the pencil, but the trouble is that it's lifting the paint. So you can you kind of get this white X in there um, or lighter X. So I give that maybe a, like I said, most papers are like that. So that just makes this average. I'm not going to say it's a good or a bad thing. Um, now I'm going to try lifting with the soft and the stiff brush on my other colors in my palette. I don't just try it on one because different colors lift differently. So there's a little clear water. Now this violet does not seem to be lifting as well with the soft brush. Oop, I better get up. Sorry, I went a little low there. Okay, with the stiff brush it lifts okay, but with the, um, the soft brush, not so good. So let's try my Quinn Rose. Sorry, we have dogs barking and workers here today. <laughs> it's just a busy day at the farm. Okay, so that's okay too. It's not great. That's probably why this uh, violet wasn't lifting because it has Quinn Rose in it. Okay, but the stiff brush again, it lifts fine. So as long as you have an option for lifting, I wouldn't fail a paper on that. I just don't like when they don't lift at all or they start tearing the paper before they lift. That's not what you, you don't want that. And my Quinn Gold. There we go. So I'd say that's a pass on those also. Okay. And then here I have a two um, color glaze. So there's been two layers painted over this. So again, you just want to check your liftability because I do a lot of lifting, especially when I do portraits. So I want to make sure these are going to. Okay, two layers, mm, not so good. Let's see with the stiff brush. Okay, the stiff brush looks fine though. So again, it passes on all the lifting things. Now the only thing I'm gonna wanna try is, I like to see if the paper is just one-sided. Oops, let me tear this off. Put my cover paper back over here. Okay. So I wanna see if, um, I'm gonna move this because I don't wanna get paint on the next page. Okay, I wanna see if the um, sizing is the same on both sides. The texture doesn't seem to be. This seems quite a bit smoother. So this might be like a one-sided paper is what I call it. Some papers you can work on either side. Some you can only work on one side. So let's see if we can get somewhat of a graded, graded wash. Okay. 
So I'm going to start with my color. This is my favorite turquoise. And then we're going to just keep adding clear water. I'm going to lift it a little bit. Clear water. I would always test out your graded washes on what you think, you know, especially if it's in a pad, what the backside is. And on, on individual sheets, the backside would be where the writing is backwards. So whoever, you know, whether it's Arches or Fabriano, the backside would be where the writing is backwards. Okay. So um, this isn't bad. This, I mean, it has a nice, I gotta say the softness of the paper is nice. When you want a soft edge, it'll give you one. So that's, that's good. That's nice. One thing I want to check too is blooms because I like to make blooms. So let's see if this is might be. No, oh, no, it's blooming. Oh, let me get it out of the light so you can see the blooms. There we go. Okay, it blooms quickly too, which I like. It's definitely um, no problem there if you wanted to add texture to something, like if you were painting rust or something like that. So anyway, that's my review of this um, Hanamula, <laughs> I know I'm butchering this word, paper. Um, if you're interested in it, um, let me know. I'll get you in touch with, uh, with Carol or she can let me know where you can buy it. Okay, so that's my thing for today. Everybody have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay happy, and spring is around the corner. See y'all soon.